All right, it's time to find out if our boots are still wet. Uh oh, moment of truth. I think they're dry. Yeah? I think they're dry. My ones are definitely damp. Your ones are damp? Yeah. Anyway, I'm used to it now. <laughs> so that's fine. <laughs> and look at the day today. Blue skies. I think it's going to be another sunny, beautiful ride. Looks like it. Very promising. Welcome to Germany. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Welcome back to our Guinness World Record attempt to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. We're here in the village of Kirchheim, next to Munich in Germany. And we spent the past two days with my friend here, Miriam and Zoran. You have been absolutely amazing. Really, we love you so much. It was a really, really nice pit stop. Yes, I have even washed clothes. <laughs> But of course, I forgot half of the stuff. So actually, we have just two pair of socks, but one pair of socks isn't even washed. Yeah. Like, can you believe it? It's always the same thing. When we get access to a washing machine, we're like, throw everything in it. And then it turns out yeah. there's a lot of stuff that we forgot. Yes. But we've washed half our stuff, which is good enough. So it's time to hit the road. So let me show you where we're heading today. So we are here. And today we are heading cross country northwards through the countryside of Germany. And we're heading for the town of Cheb over the border in the Czech Republic. Yes, we decided just for fun that we're going to spend the night in the Czech Republic, <laughs> Czechia. Yes, I really can't wait. Google Maps says it will take us five hours and it's already at 11.30, so better hit the road, let's go. Hoo-yah! So it was really cool because Soren had a motorcycle battery charger, so we left Bumblebee on overnight. So now Bumblebee's battery should be like totally charged up. But I guess we'll find out. It starts. It still sounds a little bit like I was expecting it to be more like ch -ch -ch done. But it wasn't. It was like ch -ch -ch -ch. Anyway, the important thing is the Bumblebee starts. Though I think probably the battery is due for a replacement. Okay, just gonna wait for the Garmin so I can start the tracker. Whoa, it's midday. We were a little bit lazy this morning. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you so much, Miriam. We love you and hopefully see you again soon. But yeah, we have a mission for today. We booked our accommodation in Czech Republic already. So we have to get there. <laughs> yeah, the town is called Cheb. Mm -hmm. And we have no idea anything about it, but it's gonna be nice. Out of Munich, look at that. <coughs> Looks like it's going really slowly. Well, this is nice countryside, isn't it? Very pleasant. And we saw some deers already as well. Yeah. So that's really cool. Yeah, it's just like a nice relaxing ride where you just got these kind of nice windy roads through a little bit of forest, a little bit of fields, just the pleasant countryside. It really reminds me of my area in Northampton. It's the same like this, just nice little country roads. You can go for a little ride. It's like when I first started riding a motorcycle when I was 17, I bought a Suzuki as well, Marauder. 125 and all I used to do was just go out and just ride the country roads like this stop for a coffee somewhere it's just like I don't know it's just freedom I love it and this is giving me really like nostalgia for those roads and that time Like a young fella. He looked like 18 years old. Beautiful countryside place for a break. Look at this. 
just peaceful here. And we're having a little croissant with cheese, which I'm really happy about. It's like the same thing we were eating when we first came into France at the very beginning of the trip. It was always croissants and cheese. <laughs> mm. From Lidl, of course. Mm -hmm. Oh no! They're actually from Aldi. Anyway, we did really good so far. We traveled already 63 miles. We have about three hours left. It's nearly two o'clock. So we will arrive, um, hopefully not in the dark. <laughs> but so far, really enjoyable ride, really peaceful, really calm. After so many crazy rides on this journey, then it is just nice to have a nice ride. <laughs> yes. Okay, first fill up in Germany. What is the price? 188, no? 1 euro 88 per litre. Uh, uh, bring me back to Kazakhstan. <laughs> Man, 35 cents a litre that was. So this one here, yeah? Oh yeah, we're not going the super plus. God, we're not made of money. What do you call it in German? Tankstelle. Tankstelle. Full, full. I think it is full. I will pay inside. How much? 25 euro. 25 euro. <laughs> that leaves 10 euro on the daily budget for accommodation. Do you think we can do that? <laughs> do you say hello? You have to say guten tag here in Germany. Whilst we enjoy our pleasant countryside ride, I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about country number 36 on our journey around the world, the Federal Republic of Germany. Germany has a rich cultural heritage with contributions to music, literature, philosophy and science from figures like Beethoven, Goethe, Nietzsche and Einstein. It's pretty crazy as well because there are 25,000 castles in the country. It's also the birthplace of many inventions including the printing press from Johannes Gutenberg and the automobile from Carl Benz. No wonder they also have their famous Autobahn network, the highway without speed limits. But it's also renowned for its beer, with over 1,500 breweries producing more than 5,000 brands of beers. The average German person consumes over 90 litres of beer a year. And Germany is also home to the world's largest beer festival, the Oktoberfest in Munich. Hello! I think I saw a lavy deer in the forest. Ah! <laughs> I'm actually impressed by the amount of forest that I've seen so far here in Germany. It's just so nice to be in the forest. I mean, to be honest, it's a little bit cold, but... It's cold. <sighs> just but it's breathe. fresh. It's fresh. <sighs> <laughs> The nice forest air. So we're four hours in now and uh, we've got one more hour to go. We're not going to cross the border into Czech Republic until like really the very, very, very end. We're just going like one town <laughs> and then back out again tomorrow. But at least we get to experience one night in the Czech Republic. I think that's really cool. And we are so close. So we should use the opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. We just saw a sign that the Czech Republic is coming up in one kilometer. And again, beautiful, stunning forest around here. So much stunning forest today. Oh, oh. look, there is like uh, some police. Hello. <laughs> I think this is it. Yeah. Czech Republic, welcome. <laughs> Country number 37 on our journey around the world. And look, we are welcome with the petrol station. Oh, <laughs> look, it's cheaper. A little bit cheaper, yes. 163. Okay, so yeah. we have to make sure we fill up full before we leave uh -huh. Czech Republic. Yes, tomorrow. No way, there we go. Not much of a border crossing, but still, it's another country. Yes, can you believe it? It's so nice what free travel we have here in Europe. It's absolutely amazing to be able to just like drive like that, boom. Yeah. You've gone from Germany, German speaking, German culture, and boom, everyone's speaking Czech. So cool. Nobody stops you, nobody checks you. They're just like, yep, come on, no worries. And here we go, coming into Cheb. 
the place where we're going to be staying tonight wow yeah it is cheaper here it yeah. is cheaper it's like yeah. literally 20 cents cheaper than what we filled up earlier today oh i know i can't believe it <laughs> so that means all of the german people living close to the border here they're just coming here for their 100%. fuel and then leaving again yes wow and then everything is now in a different language crazy i can no longer rely on you for translations <laughs> Oh, no, it's in English. <laughs> Copy to go. <laughs> wow, the sunset was earlier than I expected. It's literally just gone six o'clock, but it's nearly dark already. Yeah. Also, I really hope that this accommodation exists. Yeah, we thought it would be like in Cheb, and then we sort of left Cheb, and now we're like literally in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. The Parley is coming up in a minute. Okay. <laughs> like, I, mean, I think it's maybe this building right here. Oh, it says restaurant. Ooh. Maybe it has a restaurant, but we could try some Czech foods now that we're in Czech Republic. Look, apartment. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Ah, okay. Yeah, maybe it's this one, hey? Yeah. Okay. Does this look open? It looks really close, but maybe they're opening later. Yeah, it does look really, really, really closed. Like, yeah. totally closed. Yeah. Damn it. So I think the place is... Not here. Yeah. This, this one? Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, this one. Oh, that looks nice. Apartment Vitinka. Cool. Oh, this is like country, country house living, isn't it? Look at this. Yeah, cute, hey? Really cute. Oh. oh my lord. Wow, oh, there's some, some really nice big doggies. Big Alsatians. Yeah. Yeah, let's just stop here and then we'll check it out what we can do. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Cool. Beautiful. Wow, it's very beautiful here. Look at this. Really nice. Wow, look at this. There's a fire. Good evening, guys. We made it. Happy to live. You. <laughs> yeah, we are here in Czech Republic, and this place is really, really beautiful. Look at this amazing room. First of all, massive, massive bed. Look at the roof. Look at the wall here. Really, really nice. I think this whole building is a barn conversion. It's got a lot of character. It's very rustic. Rustic. But look. Check out at 10. <laughs> Why do we always get places with like super early checkouts? Yeah. But have a look at this. Oh, wow. How nice is that, hey? Big roaring fire on a cold day like today. It's really, really nice. So we decided as well that we're gonna treat ourselves and go out for dinner. There's a couple of restaurants in the town near here called Haslov. So we're gonna drop off the rest of the stuff in the room and then head over to there. Yes, and that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time. It's like a Czech, Czech Coca-Cola. Oh, copo, copo Okay, okay, okay. So what do you got there? This is goulash, and I think this is like um, bread, like dumplings, I think. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> I will try it. Wow. Beautiful. And this place is really like rustic, rustic and traditional. It's like almost like an English pub, except that it has a tiled floor, which is like, it's not a carpet, you know? It's not a carpet. <laughs> And the lady here speaks German actually, which is really cool. Bon appetit!